Hi, hi there. Hope uh, you are doing well. Uh, tonight I will show you something interesting. Uh, for a WordPress website, sometimes uh, um, we can need backdoor codes. What is backdoor? Uh, basically, uh, you have a WordPress access, and on your WordPress website, you push some code on the backend, and whenever you want to take access, you can create a user and password and you can get access to the website in future so uh seems like hacking course right uh but i'm showing this for your uh safety because when you work for a client sometimes client may not give you the payment or in future you may need to get access of the code of the website in that case, you can create a backdoor which will create a user and password and no one will know that. So let's see how we can do this. First of all, uh, I actually uh, showing some codes here. So these are the uh, backdoor codes. And this is the function, my backdoor. And I'm calling the function. And after that, I'm checking if there is no user exists with that name, it will create a user with this password. You can take, you can change the username, you can change the password. Also, you can change the function here. If you change the function here, you must need to change this calling function here also. Okay, so the code is as it is. So what will be the username of the WordPress? After pushing the code, the username will be backdoor, the password is pass. That's right. I clearly mentioned you, uh, you have to put this code on function.php under add function. Okay, so this is my WordPress dashboard and go to appearance and theme editor. It will uh, bring you here and you will find the option function.php, go there. On the function.php, you have to find add action yes so there are uh, there may be a lots of add function here so whenever the function is finished click some enter and put the code if you put the code at wrong path your site may be white so in that case you have to recover the website using file manager or ftp by removing the code so must check twice at least before updating the file. I'm sure I put the code on the right place. Okay, update is successful. So the code is pushed, no one know the code is pushed and whenever you want to take the access of that WordPress website, say client change the WordPress user. I don't have the access right now. Okay, so what is my site name? My site name is codemanv.com slash new. Okay, so yourswebsite.com, putting, uh, putting the website here and I have to write a question mark backdoor. Why backdoor? Get function backdoor. So this backdoor is called here and equals to go. I just have to put the URL on a browser. Let's try. Okay. Whenever you enter on this uh, website, it will create a user. What will be the username? The username will be backdoor and the password will be pass. Before that, let's check the username right now. So there is one user which is admin. Now I am putting the URL at the browser and hit enter. It will redirect to the home page and no one knows the user is created. It's already backdoor. This is the user and the password is pass. Say my client changed my WordPress website access. No worries. We have the username and you have the password, which is created by the backdoor. It's okay. So this is the backdoor is the username. And password, what is the password? 
password is pass. Hit enter and you will get the access of the WordPress. So this is the backdoor code. Uh, basically backdoor code will help you uh, to get access of a website anytime if you put the code on that website's function.php. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you will use the code for your betterment, for your safety, but don't hamper anyone with this code. Thank you.